Berlin, 9 a.m. on a Tuesday. A group enters an unassuming building in the city center, with them years' worth of work contained in small cases. Their miniature satellites, or CubeSats, built over the years by masters and PhD students, are ready to go to space. Manel, João Paulo, and Pedro from the Institut Superior Technico in Lisbon. Luis, Natalie, and Julia from the Polytechnic University of Catalonia in Barcelona. They're mentors from the European Space Agency, Christina and Loris. They are from the start of their journey, are here too, seeing them through to the end. The end starts with Nadine. I'm Nadine. I'm a mission manager here at ExoLaunch and we're an integrator. So we help people catch the right to space basically. And as a mission manager, I'm getting assigned customers and I'm helping them to get ready for that launch. Act one, testing one, two, three. Christina. I am part of the Flyer Satellite team and I have supported the CubeCut4 team for many years now in their journey with us. The CubeCut4 team came, came to the Flyer Satellite program back in 2017. Uh, I must say that they had a very clear idea of what they had to do. They have very clear scientific requirements. They have very clear te technological objectives, which were very challenging. I'm here with the CubeCut4 team. We're doing the final checks before integrating the satellite in its flight deployer. So we have a few parameters to upload to the, to the satellite to put it in its flight ready configuration. And after that, we can say that the satellite is flight ready and it can be integrated. So it's, it's a very exciting moment. UCAT4 has a, a single payload that has three experiments in it. It's called the flexible microwave payload and it will be used to make measurements of the Earth's climate variables, so ice thickness or soil moisture, uh, to study a little bit the climate change. With this team, uh, they were always coming to me saying like, uh, Christina, we have a problem with the antenna, but we found a solution, and the solution is this. And, and I think it's normal for, for a lot of teams that are developing their own satellite to encounter problems, and it's also very uh, positive for the learning in experience. If you if you don't fail, you don't learn. Now we are going to do a battery power off test through the Q switches, which are in charge of when the satellite is in the deployer to deactivate completely the satellite, so it doesn't power on inside of the deployer. Okay. And now when I release it, the satellite should boot up again. Now the satellite is booting up. We see all the OVC commands. It worked. I was just making sure. I am Loris Franchi, uh, a systems engineer for the Flyer Satellite program, and I also work in uh, the CubeSat support facility, a small environmental testing facility that we have uh, in Belgium, in ESSEC, as a test engineer. I've been involved with the IST Sat1 project uh, since 2019, more or less. The ASC Sat1 is effectively the, the first satellite that the team is, uh, is building and designing themselves. And as such, they, they went through a lower coaster of events because, of course, they had to learn everything from scratch. ASC Sat1 is an aircraft tracking device. We are de demonstrating a new technology for decoding aircraft signals. And this will allow us, in a pretty simple and small package, to know where aircraft are when they are flying over the ocean, which is something that you can't do when you're using radar technology from ground. The most important part is right when we start yes. to know that we are in the correct setting for the antenna not to deploy, and that's fast. So hopefully I won't get hit in the face with the, the antenna. Learning by doing is that me is one of the best, if not the best, way to learn. 
because you really have to put your hands on and make mistakes and learn out of them. Yeah. So far everything is going well, fingers crossed. Act 2. Satellites in a box. Unpacked, tested, charged, the CubeSats are ready to go into their deployer, a special box that will release them in space. Nadine explains how this will happen and walks the teams through a test run. We're going to put the satellite inside the deployer and hopefully not wreck anything in the process. And we are just starting to push it up. And with one finger, it is enough to push the satellite backwards. No axis friction is observed whatsoever. Ready, steady, integrate. After a night of rest, today is the day. With steady hands, KubeCat4 and ISTSAT1 are officially integrated. This is the last of their CubeSats the teams will see on Earth. Look happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>